number five? Number five, yeah. sunscreen estrogenics. Yeah. Yeah, so I even brought an article here to, uh, to Kate's house for you guys. It's from the New York Times. I'm dropping on everything. It's, it says, most sunscreens can harm coral reefs. And they talk about how, you know, these high levels of benzophenones, which is oxybenzone, which is crazy common in America. And there's another one called 4-methylbenzylene camphor, mm. in case you're really nerdy. That rolls off the tongue. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, it's, it's almost, almost one of the reasons these things are still legal, I think, is because the chemical names are so ridiculous. Mm. Nobody wants to talk about it. Everybody's mm. happy to talk about BPA. Yeah. Because BPA is easy to say. Yeah. But nobody wants to talk about 4-methylbenzylene camphor. No, I try. I mean, I, I call it 4-MBC. Oh, great. And most scientists do. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it's not, 4-MBC is still not really sexy. Yeah. But it is harmful, and it is illegal in Europe. 4-MBC mm. is. Not oxybenzone. Oxybenzone is real common. It's a real problem. Mm. Again, acts like estrogen. You know, it's killing off coral reefs. Places are making it illegal, thankfully. Yeah. Hawaii just banned sunscreen. And it goes through your skin, you know? It's so yeah. One thing that you can start doing is just look at ingredients. When you're at the store, um, look at the backs of food products, look at the backs of cleaning products, look for these um, soap estrogenics, um, look in the sunscreen products. Oxybenzone is probably the first ingredient to like that whole shelf of oh. like the common Maybe. sunscreens. Yeah. It's right there. And that's the one, it's just like blatant. It's just because we just don't know, we're not aware. But Hawaii just banned sunscreen with this product in it because it's so bad for the coral reefs. Um, but it's also, we, we absorb it. It goes straight through our skin. I mean, we put all these products on our skin to be youthful and glowing and, and women put all this makeup on too. Mm -hmm. um, so I'd love to hear more about your opinion on that. But then the sunscreen, it's the number one ingredient is oxybenzone as an estrogenic. So we're absorbing that straight into our bloodstream. And then what happens in our bloodstream? Yeah, it causes, it acts like estrogen, throws your estrogen off throws your testosterone off throws everything off really yeah. and you know there's so many studies showing that it spikes your blood you know it's yeah. almost it's almost not even debatable <clears throat> again even just the laundry detergent yeah on the clothing spikes your blood right. they've done a study and this is, is that because it's going through your skin yeah yeah exactly it's sitting on your clothing yeah. it's soaking in your skin yeah because these chemicals they don't like water they like fat mm. And believe it or not, your skin is actually quite fatty because it's mm. your cells, every single cell in your body is surrounded by a, a lipid bilayer. It's called lipid because it's like fat, like mm. little balls of fat. Mm -hmm. And so these chemicals, they're attracted to fat. They float on water. So they prefer, they love to get through your skin. You know, yeah. And they like to sit in there and cling on to your they're skin. They're attracted to yeah. your skin. So they don't like, they don't like to wash down the drain. Mm. They prefer to sit on your skin if mm. you're showering in some kind of soap that has these chemicals. Okay. That's how the fragrance can then linger as well. Yeah. And obviously I don't need sunscreen because I'm so tan, but <laughs> use like, use zinc or use coconut zinc. oil Yeah, or both, you know, something yeah. natural. That's what I do. And I know Kate makes her own and it's awesome. It's literally, yeah. we talked about this before and the ingredients on her homemade stuff is the same exact rundown of ingredients of the stuff that I spend a ton of money to buy yeah make your own then you have like you can order the zinc oxide so the ingredients are coconut oil um, beeswax zinc oxide non nano particle um, and then I use like cacao for something so it's a little bit more skin toned um, and the zinc oxide you can order bulk get a big amount and then you can just make sunscreen for life and for all your friends um, because it's getting banned in Hawaii and it's just important to know what you're putting on your skin if we are indeed absorbing this straight into our bloodstream you don't want to be absorbing chemicals that are going to be harmful to your body and if, if you have kids too yeah you know you definitely don't want them loading up on these things because children are more sensitive to estrogen effects mm. it's one of the reasons puberty just keeps dropping and dropping the age ah, of puberty wow oh yeah it's it's so absurd because doctors now they all know this, right? Yeah. Like it's 14 and it's 13. They're seeing puberty coming in on eight, age eight and things, uh -huh. just crazy numbers. And instead of addressing the problem, mm -hmm. it's just like breast cancer, right? Like we're raising awareness for breast cancer, which is up 250% since 1980. Jeez. But it's not about raising awareness. We need to get these chemicals out. So mm -hmm. then we lower that number. But the puberty, what they're trying to do in medical journals is to lower the normal range of puberty. So redefine puberty and say, oh, age eight, that's normal for puberty. No. Rather than saying, well, that's What's a problem. This? That's a problem. Let's look into it. Let's fix it. 
Wow. Because it's so common now. Who's they? This is the medical associations. Yeah, and I did a YouTube Trust video. anyone. <laughs> uh, yeah. And that's the problem, right? right? Like, you get these corporations that are making these chemicals, that are making billions of dollars, that are influencing politicians. That's one of the reasons America is so bad with these chemicals compared mm -hmm. to Europe. Yeah. I know a scientist who gave a talk in Europe about this partic a, a particular chemical, a fungicide, mm -hmm. it's something you spray on tomatoes or whatever to prevent fungus. Mm -hmm. He gave a talk about the health problems from this thing, epigenetic health problems, by the yeah. way, like sustained long-term health problems. Through the generations. The next week, they made that chemical illegal. Wow. You would never get that. And by the way, that's that was a few years ago. It's still legal here in America. Oh. And now there's even been more problems that have been associated with that chemical. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. That's the problem when you have influence from these corporations on the politicians behind the scenes. And yeah. you really need to take matters into your own hands when you have that situation, which is, mm -hmm. which is the situation I have mm -hmm. in America. Mm -hmm. And it sounds like Australia. Buy organic. Make your own. Self-sufficient. You got this. 